Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Percy Plays Tech It. And today we're going to be going back into the equivalent exchange mod. We're going to be making a couple items from that. And uh, the first thing that we're going to be making is an alchemy bag. And what this is, it's kind of like, I don't know, it, it makes your inventory way, way bigger uh, when you right click it. Uh, so first we're going to be needing an alchemical chest which we've made a couple times with our uh, energy condensers. So have that made there. And now we're going to put that in there. And first actually I'm going to be making a blue bag because I don't want just a plain old white bag. So let's make some blue dye here. That, that'll do with these flowers we got from our quarry and you can make any kind of uh, alchemy bag that you want any color wool so you have quite a few choices I'm just gonna do blue because I had some indigo flowers and it doesn't look too bad so put the blue in a, a little U shape with the alchemy chest up there and then take your diamond uh, covalence dust and you get your alchemy bag. And while we have some of that uh, covalence dust, I'm just gonna uh, heal our diamond pickaxe. You need one dust for every diamond that is used. So that's why we had to use three. And uh, let's get some stuff out of our crap chest over here. Just uh, some wood and saplings and how some flint. And now the cool thing about this you just you have to have it in your hot bar and then you just right click it opens up this massive massive inventory and you can put anything you want in there just just like that and if you, you want to drop it pick it back up it's still still all in there put some wood in there or actually it's not but uh, we're gonna go into cheat mode for a little bit so I can show you uh, some other really cool things about this so let's let's take another blue one and then let's take two red ones. And see we have we have our flint and our saplings in the second hot bar slot bag. And let's just drop that one and then go to our other blue one. And voila, we have our flint and saplings still in there even though that they're like we put them in that bag. So it's kind of like a ender chest type deal where uh, it'll still come into this bag, but uh, now if we go to the red bag, we put uh, some wood in there and we put uh, a flower in there, and then like uh, same same with this one, we go to our other bag and it's still gonna have those items in there. Just get out of that interface. But then if we go to our blue one, it's not gonna have the flower and wood. It's gonna have our flint and sapling. So kind of goes with by color um, on which which items are in there so just delete those erase this and now we'll get on to making our second item two items in one video <laughs> crazy right oh I still have still have the delete thing on <laughs> let's go get my bag back here we go okay <laughs> whoops did not know if uh, that would happen all right. Now, for our second uh, item, it's going to be this nice little ring that we're going to be making. So, for there's, I think there's a quite a few uh, different rings that you can make in the equivalent exchange mod. Oh, bands, I think they might be called bands instead. And to make the band, the bucket of lava with iron, and going to be needing some more diamonds over here and then I don't think we need all of them we'll just take uh, that many five of them and oh lagging lagging okay here we go some what the heck is happening I keep going straight and I'm not pressing anything just, just a sec. I'm gonna 
Saying quit and come back. See if this uh, helps any. Okay, I think we're good now. Come over to this pot over here. Or energy condenser. And we almost have four. And now we have four dark matter. And that's what we needed. And I've added two more antimatter relays and a few more of these. Uh, these, uh, what are they called? Energy collectors? Yeah. And I'm making some, some more fuel. Let's, let's grab that uh, glowstone dust out. And now we have to go back to our crafting table, which, uh, maybe I should have had one out here. But, uh, it's okay. It's just, it's a little walk. It's not that big a deal. Now what we're going to do with our band, put our band in there, take our feathers, like that, and then our dark matter on the outside. And we get Swift Wolf's Rendering Gale. And this is pretty simple to make, as you saw, but uh, super expensive. It's just over 560,000 EMC worth. So, yeah, very, very expensive. But it is a pretty cool little deal we have here. So, uh, if you have it in your uh, hotbar and then just have the right uh, mouse button it fires some little projectile and what this will do is if we have any mobs nearby which I don't know it would be only be like animals because I'm in peaceful but uh, what it does it will like it's like a knockback if you are familiar with that uh, with the Chapman tables but uh, it knocks them back quite a ways and uh, it uh, yeah that's all it does but uh, here we have it, a rainstorm just started so if we that's pretty convenient actually if we pop one up there and in a little bit it should uh, be turning into a, a full thunderstorm I'm gonna grab some redstone because I don't know if the glowstone is actually working as a fuel for our ring because it is going to take some let's try that again oh okay now you see the redstone went down one and now it's getting super super dark and there's the thunder and just there we go you maybe can hear the rain now and it, now if uh, you were to try to projectile an animal <laughs> uh, with it raining you can see it would give them a nice thunderbolt to their face <laughs> and kill them. Um, my favorite part of this ring, though, is that... Uh, turn the rain off first. <laughs> is you can fly with it. So what you do, double tap space. If we get this here, I found... If we're lagging some, doesn't quite work, which seems like I'm lagging. Oh, great. There we go, okay. So, like, if I'm just playing and I have my cobblestone generator on, I've noticed that it doesn't usually work because I, like, um lagging a slight amount. Not quite noticeable, but uh, just if you're having that problem. And then you can see our redstone is going down. Um, it uses one redstone every 10 seconds. Uh, so, and then the higher the fuel, like uh, if, we, if we had Mobius fuel, it would take longer uh, for it to be used. And just hold space, and you can go way up high and fly around. And then shift, you can go lower and just go down and back up and fly around. It's way better than any jetpack. And also, if we were to double tap space again, if we can get it here. Come on. Legging. There we go. And we'll fall back down to the ground. And as you noticed, I didn't take any fall damage, which is very, very nice. <laughs> I tend to like to jump off things. And this will... Uh, if it's in your hotbar, you will not take any damage at all. Another 
uh, it's an okay thing if you're on something other than peaceful is if you press the C key it will turn red and now there is an invisible 11 by 11 by 11 a little force field around you so mobs can't get to you uh, I don't know if you can shoot out of it like if you had a bow uh, I think you might be able to but uh, yeah that's that kinda useful but uh, the most useful part that I think is the flying which is very nice I've actually been using it in some of my test worlds <laughs> decided to finally make it in this one so hope you guys like this episode and uh, thanks for watching um, please comment uh, I like to read all your guys comments and please subscribe thanks